you, Chewy. That was bumpy. Yeah. You know, I'm thinking maybe we should head for that small moon. That's no moon. That's a space station. How do you know? Look at it. Why are your glasses? Oh, they're way over there. No wonder you can't tell whether it's a moon or a space station. Put your glasses on. No, that's a space station. It's too big to be a space station. There's no space station that big out here. Look at it! Why are we still moving towards it? I don't know. They to like... Chewy! Auxiliary! Where's Chewy? Maybe he's in the bathroom. Man. I haven't even had a coffee yet. But, uh, excuse me. Why are your glasses all fogged up? It's really hot in here. Yeah, you should really, like, I don't know, invest in something a little more breathable, maybe? Excuse me. This is nice. It's warm. I mean, the heat works in here, it's not like... Never mind. Well, hello. So, today I am going to make a Death Star Halloween decoration on this 22 inch wooden board that I got from Hobby Lobby. And uh, we're gonna be introducing a little bit of spray paint into this action. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I wanted to do because I was going to be working with spray paint is to draw out a Death Star on poster board and then painstakingly cut out each and every square with a precision blade. And I mean painstakingly because I basically did this on the floor on, on top of a cutting mat and my knees um, were very sore and not only that but I, I still can't feel the tip of my index finger on my right hand because of pressing into that for so long to cut out every single little square okay so this was um quite a project to create a stencil this large for spray painting but it really was well worth it in the end and I use um some Liquitex indoor spray paint and got my base colors onto my 22 inch circle and so I basically used a white a lighter gray and a darker gray and black and so then I put my stencil on but when you use a, spe a, st a stencil a stencil you want to weight it down so I'm just taking some you know nuts and bolts and and basically weighing the stencil down so I don't get any overspray um, and I have some nice crisp lines on there so once I've finished kind of getting all that spray paint down, I take um, pieces of paper and I lay them down over the parts that I don't want to spray anymore so that I can get that center line that goes across the Death Star nice and black. And then weigh that down as well with some bolts, nuts, and then I can take that off. So. It's um, safe to say that once you remove your stencil, you've got a nice dust star, but we're not done yet. No, we need to work on the crater. The crater has to be done. So do the same thing by cutting out the circle and then using that as my stencil and filling it in with the shadow and the light and getting that to the where I think I want it. And then when I take it off, look at that. I've got the crater and we have a Death Star. But, you know, I want extra detail in there, so I go in with acrylic paints and I do the shading where I want all the shading to be because I want to get that detail to be relatively accurate on the Death Star. And this took a while. Like, this whole entire process really did take quite a long time to do. Um, this is why we do time lapse, so you don't have seven hours to watch of all of this footage because that's pretty much how long it would be <laughs> from start to finish. <laughs> but I got all of my acrylics on there. I got all the shadows and where I wanted them to be. And it 
it really started to come together, which I'm super happy about. Um, I couldn't be more thrilled with how this was coming together, to be honest with you, because it started to look more and more three-dimensional. The more layers of paint that I put on it, and I'm basically using just neutral colors at the moment, but the dots. So the Death Star has a lot of windows. And um, there are hundreds and hundreds of white dots that I hand drew into the Death Star. And I had, you know, the novelty wore off relatively quickly. <sighs> but I got that done, and then I had to go on to the little details in the crater, and I knew I was on the home stretch. Well, at least for this portion of it, anyway. So we have our Death Star. <laughs> now, it's time to make it a Halloween Death Star. So you know a Halloween Death Star wouldn't be complete without the Emperor. You need to have the Emperor. Emperor Palpatine on a broom because that says Halloween all over it. So of course that had to happen. And bats. We have to have bats. to see you here. Yeah, I, uh, I made my great escape. You, you know what? You were supposed to face Vader and die. I was. You chickened out. I did, well, I didn't chicken out. You, you know did what? did chicken out. I had a moment with Chewie. Yeah, and, oh. uh, it, it made perfect sense, so I got my stuff and I left. <sighs> I wasn't dying today. Not today. Not today. Not today. No. Well, you know, that's all right. The Emperor, I got him good. And what did you do? Look, check this out. So while I was in my cell, yeah. I painted this. Ooh. I painted this. You did, this is really going to take him off. Like, yeah. seriously. Wait till I post this on his Instagram. You're going to post it on I'm going to post it on his He is going to be like, <laughs> all lightning fingers and stuff. Oh man, it's gonna be crazy, crazy. But it's okay, cause when we get back to Earth, I got this YouTube channel. A YouTube channel. Yeah, so I've actually filmed a lot of like, you know, our earlier interactions. Oh, it would have been nice to let me know. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think that, you know, I kind of on a need to know basis. Oh. Anyway, so I'm just gonna, if you like this video, please hit the like button, please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And may the force be with you. I will see you next time. Love you guys. Bye.